Alright guys, after many weeks, <clears throat> finally have the time to sit down and record Boot Camp, Episode 1. Today's topic is your guitar and you. So we're going to be taking this and talking about how it goes with this. Okay, so this is your guitar. It's, uh, this is my guitar. But you have one like it. You also have a guitar. Assuming you have a guitar. I hope you have a guitar if you're watching this. Um, we're going to talk about the parts of this. So, we're going to start at the bottom. This, right here, this is the strap knob locker thing. Strap. This is the strap knob. <laughs> That's what we're calling it. This is the audio jack. The input jack, not audio jack. This is the input jack. I'm sorry, I've had a very long day. This is the bridge. These little pegs, I don't know what they're called. I call them little pegs. String pegs, I think. Um, this little white thing right here on the bridge, this is more of an acoustic thing. This is called the saddle. This, this is a string. These are all strings. This, this is the sound hole. There's a space in here between the top and the bottom, so when you hit the string, it vibrates, comes in down, down in here, resonates within there, and then comes back out creating a sound. So then we have, I have an electric acoustic, so I have knobs, tone and volume, I have frets, I believe I have 21 on here, so, yes I have 21, okay. So these frets are actually the little metal bars, not the wood. This right here, this whole thing is the neck. This wooden part in between the metal things are fret boards. The metal things are frets. I've already covered that. These dots, these are called inlays, and they'll save your life once you're a guitarist and you've been playing for a while, you'll know like 3, 5, 7, 9, 12, 15, 17 are the dots on mine. Lifesaver. Um, this little white thing right here, it's called the nut. So when you play a bar chord, you're moving the nut. Okay, no. This, this is a tuner, this whole collective thing right here. But just this part on the end is called the tuner, tuning peg. And then this whole top part up here from the nut forward is called the headstock. So that's on an acoustic. You can also have things on an electric, like a floating tremolo bridge and a locking nut. My electric, one of the strings is broken, so I'm using an acoustic for now. Um, this doodad is a pick. So, oh, first of all, yeah, let's talk about picks, never mind. So picks are all different shapes and sizes. You can have normal ones about this size. This one's metal, but normal picks are about that size. I play with something called a jazz pick. This is a Jazz 3 Max Grip. You can see right there, it's got little grainy stuff on it. So, it has better grip. I haven't played it all today. I apologize. That sucked. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. So picks are great. Um, jazz picks are generally for like faster playing. So, now that we've done all that, let's move the camera down, take a nice look at my legs here. I'm going to show you how to hold your guitar. So, take my phone out of my pocket. Okay, so, this little curve right here, this is called a cutaway, by the way. So I can reach these higher frets. Most acoustics have this mirrored, so I can only reach, like, here. Okay, so, this goes on your leg. Not forward though, comes back. Um, a lot of people, if you'll ever notice, classical players will play like that because it has their guitar up. I don't play like that because it's awkward for me. I play like this. Um, a lot of people tell you to tilt your guitar back like that so you can access the frets because I don't know why, but tilting it makes it easier. And 
play it like I normally do. I guess it is a little easier. Okay. Worry about playing right in a later video. But that is essentially <clears throat> pretty much all of that for this video. Um, as always, guys, subscribe button's down over here or over here. I don't know which way it's going to mirror the camera. I can never tell anymore. So it's either here or here. Press that subscribe button. And Boot Camp 2 will also be coming tonight. Don't you worry, I haven't just not changed my clothes. I'm just going to go over what a riff is and what a lick is, and I'm going <coughs> to... Excuse me. I'm going to teach you guys a riff and a lick. So stay tuned.